Frank Schwalbe, Hoff, political analyst and strategist. Today we were talking about the uh, RLC and uh, attempts being made to restore that, to save it. I understand that quite a good deal of good work has already been done. Is that the case? Yes, certainly, especially in the northern part, but as well in the southern part. And good work means it was such a disaster that every small improvement can already be labelled as good work. Basically, as far as I understand, the water levels were receding and they have come back up in recent years. Is that the case? Is it back to a more satisfactory level now? Not at all satisfactory, but it is something incredibly positive because no one had any hope for the survival of this sea and everything around. And now governments, especially Kazakhstan and as well Uzbekistan, are doing a lot of efforts. But the trouble is... The countries of the region, which includes Turkmenistan as well, don't like to work together. And therefore it is of key, of key importance that international structures, like the World Bank, like the European Union, are interfering, set, making it possible that the representatives of the country are meeting together, because on an own incentive, the countries will not cooperate to a degree which is necessary. In as much as the water was also receding, am I right in saying that uh, there was a great deal of pollution in the water as it existed? I mean, uh, Kazakhstan has obviously been a, a key oil producer. I don't know if that's a problem. I understand your salinity levels have also improved, uh, as have the levels of fish that can be caught in the sea. Is that the case? Millions and millions and millions of years ago, this whole area was a sea, a salty sea. That means in the soil... <coughs> down in the soil, you have salt. And with the wrong water management, the salt is coming up. If there were monocultures in cotton, or there are monocultures in cotton, pesticides were used. And this mix of salt and pesticides, as dust now going from left to right, north, south, east, west, means that the population is suffering of this danger for their health, and therefore a lot of people have left the area because no possibility anymore for fishing, no possibility for uh, agriculture, and they suddenly see miscarriages, they suddenly see handicapped children born because of this mix of salt and uh, pesticides all around. So what will be the next step then? What do you consider to be the next step in terms of improving the situation? The next steps are certainly very close to a Chinese proverb that the permanent drop of water on stone, on granite, can make a hole. Therefore it is necessary not to become pessimistic or stay pessimistic, but to look what are the small improvements to raise the water, to bring fish back, to bring wildlife back, to reduce the level of salt and pesticides in the air, and especially that the countries around Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan are working more closely together, and that the international community presses them with nice ways of meeting more regularly and putting their expertise and their will commonly together.